Hello, I am Avine Doyle, the Soul Coach, tuning in today on this final full moon of the decade. So it's the 12th of December 2019 and we have a beautiful bright silver full moon in Gemini and many of us high sensitives sometimes feel the energy of these transitions before the actual manif manifested fleshed out version of the event. So I've noticed with my clients that few people who are really, really tuned in talked about feeling these energies from as early as last Saturday um, and easing up the energies in the last day or so, like the intensity. Um, for other people, they'll feel it smack bam on the night of the full moon. And uh, <clears throat> for both groups, there can be a lot, a lot of insomnia at this time, okay, because when the moon is getting fuller and bigger, its energies are intensifying and that can affect our sleep patterns. Um, you may have noticed in the last week and a half that there was just such an incredible need for extra rest. There was strong exhaustion, fatigue. And I said this in my December energy update video that there was this need to, to meditate a lot more, to, to rest the body so that the downloads could be processed with ease. And if we are not allowing ourselves to chill out and to have some space from stress and to relax during a download season, it will take its toll on us. You know, that's how we'll often get sick. Um, the immune system will start to crash. We'll feel that burnout. So I know it's that final push <laughs> before Christmas and um, the final push, um, it, can be, it can be quite exhausting at this time of year. Even for people who are not super sensitive, who are not empathic, just that grind, that hustle up towards Christmas day until everybody kind of crashes and relaxes. But what I would suggest is a more healthy way to do that would be not to push through your limits and to know your boundaries. And when your body says enough is enough to really pay attention to that, especially around this full moon on the 12th. Because it's a very intense full moon. It's a very tender full moon. Um, it's... It's basically like we're getting this visual show of all the energies, all the vibrations, all the emotions that we've had to become aware of, bring into the light of consciousness, sift through and integrate over the past 12 years. So it's I feel in my, for me personally, this is a celebratory full moon. I feel, I feel in my energy, there's a celebration of making my dreams come true. Carving my own special, unique expression of who I am in the world. And also finding a way of being my my best self in the world and finding a place in the world, finding an actual physical place for myself in the world. That is huge. And that's a theme that I'm sure many of you empaths can relate to. So if you are feeling that you haven't been sleeping properly, you know, it's full moon stuff. Um, I was in my work today and we had our morning meeting and 
some people were saying, you know, oh, I've been awake since really, really in the a.m., very early in the a.m. And they were wondering, they don't know why. I was like, full moon, you know, definitely we can wake up at weird times with the full moon or we can just not sleep or even though we can feel very unrested, it's like the body just can't switch off. And that's the intense lunar energies. So I wanted to do more on the December energy because there's been so much going on in the ethers around this time. Um, I wanted to, uh, this is an expansion on the first December energy update video, which I did recently. The themes at the moment that we're really exploring is, <clears throat> I want you to look at your life right now and possibly over the past 12 years and ask yourself, where have you been carrying something on your shoulders that actually in truth is not your baggage? It's actually not your energy and it's not your job to handle and to deal with carrying that load. So think about that for a moment. Where have you been taking responsibility for someone else's soul growth, soul stuff that you realize now you've shone the light of awareness on it and you're awake to the fact that, you know, and some of this might even go beyond 12 years. This could go back to childhood. This could go back to feeling that as a kid, you had to carry one of your parents or both parents' stuff because they unconsciously passed on this concept that you were here to keep them happy and that you were here to somehow, um, it was your responsibility to make sure that they were kept happy and at peace with themselves. And the only way to do that was maybe you were tiptoeing around, maybe you had to, maybe you had to hide, you know, your empathic side or you had to hide um, very very deep parts of yourself that just it just wasn't safe for you to fully be your full let your aura hang out there and to be your authentic self with these people I feel strongly it could be family members but it can extend to other souls as well other parts of our soul group as well so it's very important at this juncture that you are aware of what load you're carrying that when you actually take that big sack off your back and you look at the name on the sack, oh, that's not my name. My name is actually not on there. It's somebody else's name. Now, another important part of this healing is we have to take responsibility for the fact that we actually said yes to taking that sack and throwing it on our back. And that's hard, you know, that's that's probably the toughest part of healing. And that takes tremendous courage. But you're ready now. If you're hearing this message, you're lined up. You're ready to accept that responsibility and say, OK, I know I played a role in that. Even though it wasn't your fault, even though it was very subconsciously, uh, that contract was handed on to you and you didn't quite know what you were signing at the time to carry the sack, to carry that other person's emotional baggage. The important thing is that you recognize that you do have free will, that you are absolutely an empowered person because you are, you are a very, very powerful soul and you're a very, very powerful expression of source, God force energy. And when you take back your power in that way, you're able to say to yourself, okay, that's the unconscious part I played, but I'm conscious now of this and I'm no longer willing to trade my own, my own energy, my own life, my own priorities, my own focus for someone else's. I'm going to get back to me. So this is about recognizing that that happened, allowing the inner child to grieve and cry and to emotionally cleanse any feelings of anger or frustration or rejection or abandonment that comes up for you but also saying okay I didn't know any better and I thought that I had to do that I thought that I had to play out that role and I had to take that responsibility 
and actually having compassion for that inner child who actually thought that because because that's what they were told that's what they were um, that's the message that was delivered so that's really important that you acknowledge that part of your healing journey on this full moon okay what else would you like me to say angels spirit source the I am that I, I am. The I am that I am that I am. Oh, okay, yeah. Right. Really, really strong and clear. It's so important that any fear, any intense, heavy, grossed out thoughts you're having that you feel are coming from nowhere, that you can't pinpoint to yourself, that you can't connect to in your own energy. Understand that as an empath, you're connected to the collective consciousness and we've just had a massive karmic clear out. We've had a big cleansing of energy in the collective consciousness of fear, insecurities. But the main heading for that theme has been fear. So things that scare you, things that scare other people, you know, um, during the night feeling like some creepy energy is crawling on your bed or there's something under your bed or there's someone going to come and chop up your family into little pieces. These kind of negative heavy thoughts have been running rampant over the last two weeks with these energies. And again, it's, it's, it's the last go of those lower energies trying to get one last little grip on us and saying, here, you think you're all conscious and you're all tuned in and balanced and in alignment? Well, try this on for size. And it's just the old echo, you know, it's just old fears playing out. And it is also, a lot of it is not even our stuff. It's that the collective consciousness, so those people who maybe are not quite aware of all the things that's happening in the world and that they're still asleep, they're not fully on their ascension path yet, a lot of that fear. So when we actually face those fears and, you know, wake up during the night and say, listen fear, listen lower energy, I know that you're just an illusion I'm not going to freak out and I'm not going to buy into this. So Archangel Michael, Mother Mary, just clear out this energy out of this space because I'm in a space of love and fear and love can't coexist. So by doing that, you're actually clearing that on behalf of the collective consciousness. You're actually doing a great service to humanity and to the galactic consciousness as well. So just embrace that job that you signed up to do and don't be afraid because there's nothing to be afraid of. These are all just little, you know, monsters in the closet type things, themes that humanity has gone on for a long time and you're simply clearing that out on behalf of yourself and others. Another thing I want to say quickly, because I know it's such a dark day here, like it's, there's just black clouds in the sky and the light is fading. Um, something that you've wanted to shift in your energy, in your patterns, in your life for a long, long time. <sighs> Something that has been haunting you and that you just haven't figured out and you did every bit of energy work, therapy, healing, Reiki, la 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 la. And you couldn't, you're like, I, I've, I've looked under every stone. It's going to shift now. It is going to metamorphosis it's going to transform it's going to flip on its head and you're going to see a breakthrough as we come up to christmas day actually because we have um, a solar eclipse on christmas day on the 25th of december so that's interesting um and you're going to you're going to find the missing piece of that puzzle and you're going to slot it into place and it's going to make a lot more sense for you over the coming weeks as we go forward into 2020. 2020 vision, that's what 2020 is. Clarity, having clear sight, being able to see the way ahead, being able to understand what this is all about, okay? I send you so much Christmas blessings. Um, don't get caught up in all the drama around Christmas, the over-consumerism and, um, you know, the, the general... Christmas drama that does happen this time of year take it all in your stride tune into the beautiful winter solstice energies coming up on the 21st do a little ritual for yourself on that day that's really important also whatever comes up emotions to be awash 
in this full moon. Please embrace it. Please allow it and know that you are doing great. Yes, you are. You're actually doing fantastic. And life is unfolding in divine timing and all is well. Please give this video a thumbs up from me as it helps me immensely and I appreciate your support and it shows that there's actually people who care about this work and this message that I'm sharing with you. So much love to you. Bye, blessings.